Hello dear students. Today we begin with the last topic in chapter 1, Coordination. What is the literal meaning of coordination? Coordination literally means to organize the different elements. Now as far as business are concerned, elements are individuals as well as group efforts. So therefore, coordination is the orderly arrangement of individual and group efforts to provide unity of action. That means all individuals and all group efforts when they are put in an orderly manner, in a, in a, in a manner so that the group goal can be achieved, then we say coordination exists in that particular organization. Now what is coordination? It is that particular force that joins all the functions of management. As we studied earlier, there are five functions of management, namely planning, organizing, directing, staffing and controlling. And all these five functions are separate or distinct functions. So the force that joins these functions together is termed as coordination. It is like the thread that is common in all of functions of management. We've all seen garlands. In a garland, different flowers come together by the use of a thread. It is the thread that joins all the flowers together so that a beautiful garland can be created. In the same way, for management to work properly or to, uh, to achieve goals properly, coordination is required. So coordination is that particular thread that joins all the functions of management together. Now we move on to the features of coordination. Features of coordination. The first feature is pervasive. The word pervasive as we studied earlier means present at all levels. So here also coordination is pervasive. It means it is needed at all levels of management. Now levels we have studied earlier. The top level, the middle level and the lower level. So, coordination is pervasive. It is needed at all levels of management. Second, continuous. Coordination is a continuous process. Till the organization is there, coordination is needed. That means it is a never-ending process. Third, integrates group efforts. Coordination gives direction to the group. That means every single individual we studied again we studied earlier that the organization consists of individuals who come together with different goals in mind or different aims in mind so to provide direction to the entire group coordination is needed fourth ensures unity of action each business consists of different departments and all departments have their own goals in mind they have their own goals. But each of these departments have to work together so that the organizational goal can be achieved. The individual goals of the department are not important. So therefore, bringing all departments together is the work of coordination. And the last point in the feature, responsibility of all managers. Every single manager, be it a manager at the top level, middle level or lower level or the supervisory level, they must coordinate. The scope may be different. The amount of coordination that needs to be done may be different, but coordination is needed by each and every manager. Each and every manager must coordinate. The next is, the last topic in this particular chapter, the importance of manage of uh, sorry the importance of coordination the first point growth in size as an organization grows the number of employees and branches increase and when branches and employees increase automatically coordination is vital or very much needed for the organization second functional differentiation each department functions in a different way. The working of the purchase department will be different from the working of a sales department. The working of the sales department will be completely different from the working of the production department. 
so each of these departments must work in such a way so that their individual goals reconcile with the organizational goals and the last point specialization in this modern era where experts are there in every field now when someone is an expert in their own field they have wide knowledge of their subjects and at times this wide knowledge leads to narrow mindedness so therefore coordination is needed so that these experts who have difference in opinion may be integrated together the differences may be joined together and the the conflicts may be resolved or the conflicts may be solved this leads to the finish of as uh, of chapter 1 of management that is nature and significance of management you need to study these uh, points thoroughly because there are different ways in which questions are asked in class 12 unlike class 11 class 12 the the format of questioning is different and because there would be case studies and uh, function based questions each point must be clear in your mind so i hope the first chapter was clear to you thank you